G'day tubers, uh, this is just a really quick video on spot welding settings and stuff that I use uh, as well as a few different types of nickel strip. Um, I've got three different types that come with 788 spot welder that was pretty much useless and I gave away. Probably shortchanged the guy that I gave it to from the Sunshine Coast. Sorry buddy, if you need any nickel strip you know where it is. And there was three different types of nickel strip. The only one that that one spot welded was the really really thin stuff. I've also got some of highly prepared as typical this stuff uh, that was from when Bruno and I yeah! did the collaboration on the spot welder link below for that video it's a really good video if you want to go and watch it uh, this this whole video was Javier's just to help out Javier and Mike that asked me a bunch of questions um, now unfortunately I can't replicate what they did exactly uh, because I don't have the pins for the spot weldy thing so i'm just gonna try and do it all with my welding pen um and then they can try and replicate what i did with my welding pen and if it does or doesn't work uh similarly um i've only got this for a few more days if you want me to do any more videos with it let me know because i've got to get it back to roll and i've had it for weeks built lots and lots of cool stuff my kids have been here i lost it another little pack i'm playing with just a 14s pack video to come on that one as well and obviously my spot welded trolling motor battery which I am super proud of even though uh, there's no fuses still very good and I've actually got the BMS for that now so I've got to set that up as well right yeah back to what we're actually doing um, so I'm gonna try and spot weld this I'll move the camera obviously uh, we'll have a crack at that cuz uh, Mike was having a problem with that stuff now I don't know the thickness of it but it's not very thick so I'll, I'll have a crack at that try some different settings and show you how strong that is I've got it turned all the way up here the knobs all the way to the right it's on 18 but yet so I press down it's not sticking it comes right back off I'm very disappointed. So this is with the one. I got a 10 over here, all the way up over here. Fresh nickel, clean surface. What's my pedal? One, two, three. Radio settings wise, I just turn the power on. And for this nickel strip here, I got off Amazon quite expensive but there's a lot there uh, I used 4p and 6p so uh, that that's the pulse I believe and the dial all the way to all the way up all right we'll try and hit that with a spot weld first of all at 4p so that's just the top one pressed and we'll center that on the cells nicely now Javier actually gave me a really good idea so I'm using this magnet to hold this in place and I've never seen this done, although probably someone else has done it. A little rare earth magnet on the battery holds the nickel in place. It's a bloody genius idea. So that is probably a couple millimetres apart. I might do it on the negative first. Okay, so that is just on the four. I'll try and do this the same way. I'll pick that up. And that cut that come off with a fair, fair bit of force, so I had a fair bit of jiggling around. Now I just lost my magnet, no idea where that went, probably never see it again. Right out now we'll do it with uh, just six. So this the second one. Uh, four is turned off. Nice firm pressure. So that fell off again. So let's try. I'm running out of um. I have to cut another piece off. Right here, we try turn off six and go eight. Nice firm pressure. Right 
There we go, that come off, but that was, that was much harder to get off. We'll cut that down a bit. Now we'll do four and six. So that makes, <laughs> don't do maths in your head, Pete, ten. Now I'm only doing this on the negative terminal, I'm not doing this on the positive, so it's consistent. So this is slightly different. Now that's that's more coming off due to the wiggling of it rather than the actual mechanical strength of it, I believe. Rightio, now we'll go uh, six and eight together. Uh, should go to the end, so it's the same amount. There we go. I don't know if you can see the coloration on that one, but it's much better. It felt much better. And the only reason that's coming off is because I'm jiggling, and it's not because um, it's a bad joint, I don't think. Grab some more nickel. Right here, and we'll go all of them now. Radio. So this is uh, four, 18. And the only reason that's going to come off, actually that's, that's actually tearing the nickel. So that is quite a strong bond, that's, that's really ripped up that nickel. So if I double spot weld that piece there, Whee. That makes an awesome good weld. So that's that's on high. Um, right out. Let's see if we can get that off. And we try some other nickel. Now this is the nickel off my strip here. So we'll try that on on maximum because it's already set to eighteen. We. That's that's never gone anywhere. In fact, that's probably weaker, just for the fact that it stayed on there so long. It's hard to tell unless I grunt or do some stupid noise. But that's a solid, solid bond. I can't get that off at all. So that's really good. So we'll go all the way back just to four. We're going to have to snip that one off. Uh, go over to the negative terminal again. We're going to not do that cell because that cell's a bit dirty. You still need a good contact patch. Okay, that's just four. And there goes my cell holders. Go to, what's that, four and six. That's, that's, that's pretty strong. Now go six and eight. That one pops straight off. I wonder if it's the way I did it. That one's also quite strong. So I, I, I guess from what I'm trying to trying to do with this as quickly as I possibly can is go. Okay, guys, this is what mine does. Um, go back and have a look at yours if you can replicate the same situation. Um, let's turn that over. Just do the negative again. Now this is the thickest nickel strip that I have in all these bags. Um, so I'm just going to go straight to 11 on that, or 12 or 14, or whatever the number was. That just feels good. Okay. That was strong enough to break the clips off the top of the, um, the cell holder, and then pull the cell out. Okay, so that was a bit longer than what I expected, 9 or 10 minutes, I really didn't expect it to be that long, sorry. Um, now, since I started this video, or whatever, talking to people early this morning, uh, Mike has come up with a few ways of making his spot welder work for him. Uh, his is 110 volt, and Javius just stood on the pedal. <laughs> And Javier's is 110 volt also, obviously mine in Australia is 240 volt, um, so there's differences there. Uh, looks like Javier's had a few wins and I will link his channel 
I don't know which side it is, but I'll link Javier's channel there so you can go and have a look. See, maybe he'll upload a video about it. And if he does, that'll be the link. Um, and then Mike has also done a little bit of stuff with his Spot Welder too. So I'll also link his um, channel up there and the like the video relating to this sort of idea. So, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Catches.